I've consulted with the Lord before I've made this video, before I've started to make it, because I wanted to be sure that it is something for the body of Christ, and apparently it is, so. The Lord's been speaking to me about jealousy and betrayal, and whoever this message is for, please do test the spirits, first of all, test the spirit behind every word that I... I Again, I made sure that this is from the Holy that the Holy Spirit, it's definitely from the Holy Spirit, but that I made sure that the Holy Spirit wants me to put it out there to the body of Christ and to whoever will come across the video, meaning for whomever it will be for. But it regards jealousy and it regards betrayal stemming from jealousy. And the Lord has a message for someone was betrayed by somebody that they never thought would betray them so it the message is for someone who has been hurt by a person they never considered they never let their guard down with this person they never even fathomed it never crossed their mind that this person may be jealous of them or held bitterness towards them or not or hateful feelings to the extent of not wanting them to succeed because a, because of who they were or are to whoever this message is for. And B, also because they hid it so well. And this message is a twofold message. So I'm going to get back to the they hid it so well statement. But the first thing the Lord wants me to let you know is he gave me a vision of water. And he showed me the water flowing and bubbling and moving and active, full of oxygen, okay, full of life, teeming with life beneath its surface as well. So the water that he showed to me had prospect beyond what could be seen. So for example, if fish are in the water, there's there's more to the to the water than just the water. The life within the water is not just in the water itself, but also in what the water is harbouring. So it could give birth to, um, to, to more life that would then create food for thought, if you like, or sustenance, to use it as a metaphorical part of the vision, because that's what the Lord was showing me. That it was metaphorical, for obviously. Well, maybe not so obviously to some, but it was metaphorical. That this water and the water that he showed me it was moving and flowing and it was getting in between cracks and into places because it was it was the, the life force within the water it was it was so strong and then he showed me ice a block it was a block of ice like a cube a, a large block big enough to be sitting in front of you but and it the contrast that he was demonstrating to me was that it's rigid still frozen immobilized it has no life seem to naked to the naked eye seemingly no life and it's of one shape it's not making many shapes and nuanced like the flowing water that he showed to me it's just that block and there's no action to it and it's just stagnant just a stagnant block of ice it's been frozen so the message that the lord has for me to give to someone and this person that the message is for again you've been so hurt there's one person in your life you may have been hurt by others, or by a few, but there's one person particularly that you never fathomed would hurt you the way they have. And the message the Lord has for you is this. You, it's time to move on. It's time to go with the flow. And the Lord has more for you, no matter what it may seem like right now. And you're going to reach the places that 
you've been that people have tried to stop you from reaching particularly this one person whomever it may be and herein lies the warning you still find it hard to accept what this person did to you and you may still be taken in by them you may still be fooled by the facade that they present to you because you still have a level you're very soft loving warm and when i say soft i don't mean stupid soft i don't mean docile ignorant unable to see i mean you are still you have that warmth that keeps you soft and you still like to see the good in people and you you but but the lord is warning you not to be taken in because this person hasn't changed they still harbor resentment towards you they still don't want the best for you they still do not support you they do not want to see you doing well in life whoever this is and it's really hard for you to accept that and the, but the lord says you must and he he gave me that's the warning and he gave me because the the vision the vision that he imparted to me or he's told me directly to present to you is that he showed me the water he showed me blood began to mingle in with the water so i took that as his blood but he did allow me to come to the conclusion that it could also be that this person is a family member to you and I have to say I hate giving messages like this because the Lord this is this is why I consulted with him first to make sure because the Lord loves unity he loves togetherness he loves loving bonds but you must be aware as well that he did say to us that he would be bringing division into the world and that and he then he he mentioned family members being pitted and pit against family other family members he did warn us that the members of our, our own household would be our enemies so that's why i accepted okay perhaps that could be the blood that he was showing me and especially the saying blood is thicker than water which many of us know <laughs> or would question but I also he what he did let me know is that the blood he was showing me was also it's his blood and he was he wanted me to let whoever this message is for know that he is going forward with you he is with you he goes before you he's making sure he's the one that's going to make sure you reach the places that they're trying to prevent you from reaching and that he is directing you just as water can be directed so water can be we know this. It can be tunneled. It can be direct. It can be direct. You know, just according to the shape of the vessel containing it, it will take on that shape. So he's saying that he is directing whoever this is, and you are not going to be stopped. And he wants you to know that they tried. Who they? This person, whoever it may be, you apply it to your situation. You'll know if this one is for you. They tried to stop you. They tried to freeze you out by freezing you out. Or being cold towards you and freezing you out by being very rigid and hard towards you and by trying to immobilize you through your emotions so that bubbly nature of yours or that charisma or that love that is full of life and joy and that can give life to others in many different ways, put you through, through your many different talents. Again, taking it back to the vision of the water, the bubbling life of the water, and, and the and even the life within the water, like the fish. They resented you for that. They were very jealous and bitter towards you for that. But that you're not going to be stopped, and but that's how they try to stop you. That's why through your emotions. Because they're aware of that lovely nature and they're aware that you are emotionally intelligent. But they didn't realise how emotionally intelligent you are and that you may have been frozen for a while, but that you would thaw out. You would thaw out and you would 
become better for it because nothing had changed because nothing's changed nothing's changed you're still that bubbly lovely person but you are stronger now because you're aware you've been through the process of being frozen and the Lord has told me that, yeah, that's what the movement forward is about. The vision, the, the flowing, start to go with the flow now. Don't allow yourself to remain frozen in that spot. Isolated. And hardened. Because he is with you, the blood. He is going to allow he goes before you. He's going to allow and make sure that you are protected and that you are safe once you trust him. And the Lord has just now dropped into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. The fish that he showed to me. We know that the fish is a symbol of Christianity as well, for Christianity. He, Jesus Christ himself is with you, not just his angels that he has ministering to you and encamped around you because you fear him with a loving, respectful fear. But he is, he is taking a personal interest in you. God is not a respecter of persons. If he's done this for others, he would do it. there's no reason why he wouldn't do it for you. You've been faithful to him. And he's saying to you that these relationships that have hurt you, or this particular relationship, because it was a particular, there was one particular relationship the Lord showed to me, they... What they try to forgive them, move on, but be very wary of them. What he's told me is this. Because that's the state they wanted you to be in, they, so they wanted you to be frozen and immobile and rigid. That's the state you have to take on with them and that sounds very harsh but you can still forgive people and you can still love them but from a distance and if there are people that you have to have you have responsibilities towards or that they seek help from you ask the lord consult jesus christ through the holy spirit but if you're able to help them do still help them but maintain your boundary don't allow yourself to be that blub bubbly flowing water around them that, that that has your guard because this person you you had your guard all your guards were let down and they took advantage of that and the warning that thank you holy spirit you've just reminded me the warning that the lord gave to me to tell you is this not only there is something more that you're not aware of. So you're aware that there are things that you're not aware of with regards to how they treated you. But it's more than you imagine. There is more to the story than you imagine. And if you knew, it would hurt you. The Lord does not want you to know currently. I don't know about in the future, but currently he has made sure that you don't know because it would hurt you so much because you are already hurt. And what they wanted did work to a degree with hardening you and freezing you out of their lives but so that's but that's what the lord is saying they froze you out of their life they want they are the ones that did that and they wanted it to be like that and they wanted and their motives were long before it manifested their their motives their their the bitterness that they held for you before it manifested existed long before you became aware of it so while moving forward, you can let down, you, you can be forgiven, but do not let down your guard. If they wanted you to be frozen, then it's okay to remain that way with them. But still from a place of love. And how you navigate that is another video. <laughs> the Lord, to consult the Lord, he will, he will show you how to maintain boundaries, but still be as loving as you can be. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. I hope this message has been received by the person that needed to hear it. Um, pray. Pray about these things. Take care.